Everlasting Father, we thank you. We exhort you once again for this privilege that we have given unto you to celebrate the children this again. Say, be exalted, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, we ask, Lord, that you come and do what no man can do in our midst today in the name of Jesus. Amen. That which you are going to hear, that will profit every one of us, both the children and the parents. Baba, you will release unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That at the end of today's service will not just be a year of your word, but will be a draw of it altogether. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Let's be seated. I want to thank God for this great opportunity. For being in our midst this morning. It's by his privilege. It's not that I'm qualified. And I pray this morning that you will not look at a small boy that is standing in front of you this morning. But you will see God in Jesus' name. From our team, Child of Destiny. Everybody that comes to this world has a destiny to be fulfilled. There is nobody that came by mistake. Whether you got pregnant unexpectedly or expectedly and it became a baby and the baby came forward. God has a purpose for it. And as a parent sitting here God has made us a caretaker. Because we are going to give account upon every of our child. For God to give them to you, He knows that He has given you the ability and the capability to train such children. And when you fail to do your responsibility as a parent, you fate the wrath of God. We have seen many instances in the Bible. The example like the case of Eli. Eli failed to do his responsibility. And God bring his judgment upon him. I prayed the judgment of God will not come upon our lives in Jesus' name. I was happy when I saw the way they demonstrated, the way they did everything this morning. That they are talent. God had deposited something in their lives that needs to be trained that needs to be supervised and that responsibility is on us as parents I pray the grace to do it, the Lord will give unto us in Jesus name say the child of destiny there is no person there is no child that is on this earth accidentally. There is a destiny for them to be fulfilled. And it is my responsibility, it is our responsibility to discover that destiny in which they come to this world. From the text we read, Jeremiah chapter 1 from 1 to 10. From the verse 5. Say, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before that comfort out of their mother's womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee to be a prophet to the nations. That is the destiny of Jeremiah. The destiny of a man is like the purpose in which a man is being created for. There is a purpose for all our children. When I was preparing this message, when I was asking God, God, what 
should be the topic. Said the role of parents in fulfillment of their children's destiny. The role of parent in fulfillment of their children's destiny. And as I was ruminating. He said to me, only the parent that knew the Lord that can teach the children about God. That only the parent that knew the Lord. I was shocked. That that shows it's not all parents that can teach the children the way of the Lord. Only the parent that knew the Lord. Because when you know the law, that the law will teach you about your children. But my question to everyone of us parents this morning. Do you know this God? Do you know this God? Is when you know this God that you'll be able to train your children about this same God. We have we've heard about and God gave me someone in the scripture, the case of Timothy. In Acts chapter 16. We know that the father of Timothy is a Greek. A, a Greek, a Gentile. But the grandmother and the mother, they were Jews. And Paul said to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. Paul was often Timothy, you didn't wait to Timothy, you can't hear it. Say, when I call to remembrance, we pay more for us here, not here. The unfair faith which was in thee. I want a big bag, but it's for me. See how well you know, right? Which first dwell in your grandmother, Louise. Hey, lady, it's how well you know, yeah, yeah, right? I'm pretty Louise. And your mother, Inif. I see, yeah, right, Eunice. Which I believe is also in thee. Can you see that because the parents knew the Lord, they were able to input something in the life of Timothy? Until we parents, we have made up our mind, we have made up everything to follow the Lord. That is when we can be a good trainer and a good instructor to our children. For them to discover their purpose early. So that they will not waste their time. Some of us we have existed our time because we didn't see parents that will train us or that will tell us the way to go about it. So we say because my friend is a medical doctor, that shows me also become a medical doctor. My mother, my friend is a lawyer. Me too, I want to become a lawyer. And they don't know the plan of God for their life. As they are in tender age like this, this is the best time for you to train them and to let them discover the reason why they are created on this earth. Because when they know, when they know, when they know, they will be able to be themselves in the way of the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4, the scripture says, Fathers, provoke not your children to rot, but bring them up in the notion and admonition of the Lord. Say, bring them up in the notion and admonition of the Lord. He's telling you and I to bring them up 
It's your responsibility. It's my responsibility. In this world where Satan is fighting for children. And it is high time we woke up from our sleep. Let's stand up from our sleep. We are too cumbersome with our daily activities, with our business, their business, there, and you have neglected our children. I have seen some people they gather this morning. They gather all the money they want to gather. They fail to train their children. And all the money they gathered, they spent it on all the children. Because they didn't get what they supposed to get at the right time. This is the best time of their life. Let us train them. Let us have time for them. Don't let us be carried away with our businesses and everything. Parents, let's have time for our children. Let's walk with God on behalf, on their behalf. It's time for us to rise up. This is what God is telling us this morning. That the role of parent in fulfillment of their children's destiny. Let's open to the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 6. Let's read verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in the house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou lies down, and when thou rise up. It was instruction that gave gave that God gave Moses and he gave it to the children of Israel. Are we doing it as parents? Their purpose is the purpose that God has given to them is more precious than gold and silver that we are running ahead for. Their purpose is important than silver, diamond, and gold. It is that same destiny that they have that can make them a star. It's the only one thing that can make them a star. It's the only thing that can make them unique on this earth. And I'm just admonishing us this morning. Let's have time for them. Let's draw closer to God the more. On behalf of these children. Because they are our future and hope. Don't let us neglect them. I was, I was, you know, at the back there, when I saw the way they were displaying, I was happy. I said, can I do this thing? Especially our sister that resided 35 verses. I was, I was surprised. Can, with this my age, can I still do it? Can we say that this is the best time for us to let these children know more about the Lord? We have seen children, pastor's children, that when they get to campus, they, be, they turn to another thing. Because they don't have time for them. The foundation is not laid. I pray this morning the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. That strength needed. The Lord will give unto us in Jesus' name. What are the ways in which you can play your role as parent. I just have few one listed here by, by the help of the Holy Spirit. There are many. 
the first thing is environment of love when your children see that you don't love them there is nothing you tell them to do that they will do I was seated somewhere at the back. One day I was asking a someone like eight or nine years. The boy is around eight or nine years. I said, Why is your face looking like this? Why is your face looking like this? Say, my brother, they don't like me in my house. And I was surprised that how could someone that is not up to 10 years speak such words out of his mouth? And what do you think? Everything that the parent does, do you think the child will accept it? For him to have such a notion in the first place that in the whole family or they don't like him. What do you expect? And the boy is the first child, first son in the house. Whatever things you want to do for our children, if they don't see element of love, they will not respond. If they see that you like be more than the other one, they will not respond. They will not be happy. They will move further away from the house, from the parent. And if outsiders ask them to do something that is not good, they will do it because they have seen that in the house you don't like them. The first thing is love. Let's show love to our children. In, the house. in that Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4 said, said, Fathers, do not provoke your children to rot. When they have seen that you don't love them, there is nothing you are doing that will be profitable. Even though when you are disciplined them, you discipline them in love. When you are, when you are correcting them, you are correcting them in love. Whatever things you are doing, they have seen that okay, my daddy is correcting me because of this, not because of hatred. And don't let us make a mistake of loving one child above the other. The moment they know this thing, they will not listen to you. They will not listen to you. I read about a man of God, Robert, Robert Liado. He's the one that wrote Purpose Driven Church and Purpose Driven Life. He said something. He said he was what he was today or what he is today because of the love the grandmother showed to him. Said the mother did not show any love, but the grandmother is as a result of the love that the grandmother had for him. Down on, spooning up to follow the Lord. Only mama unko fero unrara shubon ifeti ya ya unfi ho un lo je lo ru un soke. The grandmother will pray for him. Ya ya man ba dura funi o kolo koiga. Because the mother does not like him, he has become a wayward person. But because of the love from the grandmother, the grandmother every day, the grandmother will be praying for him. The grandmother will say, Our son, everything is well. It was the love that the grandmother had for him that turned him up. And we have seen him is a great man of God to today. Oh, Because of love, the grandmother showed to him. And I'm pleading for us this morning again. Let's show love to our children. This is the platform. Whatever things you want to do, whether it's going to be fruitful or not, this is the platform in which you will operate. 
Eleyi je ipile ise o je ipile ti o nko ti ti won gbada o je ipile akoko ti a le gbile lori I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus name Mo gbadura ipe Oluwa yo ran wa lo ni oruko Jesu To deplace such love for them Lati fi fe iru fe bayi kan si won The life of Jesus Christ can see that it was as a result of love that he could affected the life of their disciples Whatever impact you want to make in their life, whatever things you want to do in their life, it starts from love. This is the best time. This is the best time. We don't, I don't have the opportunity. My parents, they don't know the Lord. I do what I feel like doing. But God in His mercy. He saw me. He saw me when I got to university. There are some of us that got there, but they didn't know God. They didn't till today because they didn't have parents that love and teach them about the will of the Lord. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Second, be an example to them in every area. Children learn fast by imitating their parents. I knew of a parent that says, whenever they want to watch TV, don't cross your leg across the sofa. But the father will be crossing it. And you are crossing it. Shut up your mouth, I'm your father. You must be a good example to them. They learn fast by what you do. When they see that the way you talk, you talk, you talk in a godly way, they too will start imitating you. That, that that the, daddy don't used to lie. My dad is plain. We have, we have seen some unbelievers that their children are morally okay. Because they saw that their parents is morally okay, though they don't know God. And the children also agree with that mentality. And much more we that we are Christians. Let's be a good example to our children. When it is time not to watch TV, tell them you to go to the bed, pray. Don't say, okay, they have gone to the bed. Let me, okay, it's time for me to watch TV. So that they will learn fast through your example. The disciples learned through the examples of Christ. Because the children also, they will learn fast through your examples. Let's work on ourselves as parents. Thirdly, let's open to 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15. There was something Paul said to Timothy. I want us to read it. That is why I want us to open it. And that from a child. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15. And that from a child. That has known the holy scriptures. Which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Said, and that from a child. And that from a child. Who are the people that did that? The grandmother, Louise. And the mother, Eunice. They worked on the life of Timothy. By teaching Timothy the right word of God. 
by teaching Timothy what God is saying in his word. They lay foundation for Timothy. This is the best time we can lay foundation for our children. Let them move closer to the word of God. Let them know what the word of God is saying. Let's draw, let's move them closer to God. Let's see the way they should behave, their conduct, their conversation. Everything they are doing, we can see from the word of God himself. Say, and that from a child that has known the holy scriptures. Say, you have known the holy scriptures. Fathers. Mothers, let's have time for our children. Let's teach them the rudiment of God's words. Let's tell them, let them see. Let the word of God abide inside of them. Let them be a carrier of God's word. Because when they get outside, if you don't know the word of God, the people of the world will turn them from the Lord. For one day, the Lord will ask you, the children have given unto you, how did you train them? In Proverbs 22 verse 6, they train up a child in the way he should go. Say when he's old, he will not depart from it. Train them from our quotation. This, the, one of the sisters, one of the children, say, she says that this is the best time because when they grow up, we will find it difficult to control them. Because that word of God will be the one leading them. When they are about to go astray, God will say, Son, daughter, this is not what your parents have left for you. It's my responsibility, it's your responsibility. And you that must teach or train your children about the Lord, you also must know the Lord. Not the God you have known two years ago. I mean, currently working in the Lord. You might have five children and the way God will ask you to train five of them might be different. But if you are not the one that easily works with the Lord, if you are not the one that easily works with God, you might Use the usual way and nothing comes out of it. Just say, ah, look at that, your son. This is the way you are going to do it. This is the way you are going to do it. Look at that, your daughter. This is the way. This is the way. The dealings of God sometimes may be different, but when you move closer to God, He will teach you the wisdom to use. It is our time to take our responsibility. The fourth one, true fasting and prayer. True fasting and prayer. I heard of someone that had 19 children. And all the 19 children work for the Lord. None of them become a tattoo. Each day, there is someone in our roster that she will go on her knees for. And she will pray through on each of them. And all the 90 children work for God. How many children do we have? Have you, have you got enough to 90 children? Someone that, that, someone that had 90 children. A woman, oh, she prayed. 
Ogbadura. She prayed. Ogbadura. On her knees. Ogbadura. Lori kunere. She warned the Nigerian children for the Lord. And they did great exploits for the Lord. The Lord is looking at you and I. You just ah uh, maybe just God just gave you two, four children or two children you are complaining. But you are Lord from your mommy, I be meji, obey any kun. What of someone that God gave ninety children and on her knees Melo Melo all of them for the Lord. Melo Melo you and it's a lot of your mama called the logo, Lori, Kunlere, Osi Bakwa, or Melko the logo if all around. And she trained all of them in the way of the Lord. Osi talk but one year no alone on her knees. Lori Kunlere. Sometimes you will ask them to fast. Ligba me, and you can walk by way to build up their spirit man so that they can hear from the Lord. Sometimes she will tell them, Go and pray, oh God wants to speak to you. She is training them how to hear from the Lord. It is not difficult for them to know what is in the mind of God. She trained them to hear from heaven. To hear from the throne of grace. But she did that on her knees. And she trained them how to fast and pray. Then what are we running after as parents? Let's do our responsibility. So that these children will not be a thorn in the flesh tomorrow. So that they will not be a thorn in the flesh tomorrow. So that they will not be a thorn in the flesh tomorrow. Only um, the child that we didn't train, even though you video us and you put the child there, we no longer believe it. No matter, let's for example, let's look at the case of Abiola today. Any, do, uh, what, what is there any investment that Abiola see up in this nation, Nigeria? If you don't train your children, no matter what you have left for them, no matter how gigantic it is, one day they will sell everything. This is the best time for you and I. To do our responsibility. I need a head of a case of a, of a small girl that she was kidnapped. When they kidnap her, and in their family every Wednesday they used to fast. And when they got there, they brought food to her. She said she should eat. She said no, in our house, every Wednesday we don't used to eat. Too. We used to fast. And she fasted. And God miraculously set the lady, that small girl, free. But because of what the parent has inputted in her. What have you inputted in your children? Let's, let's train them. They, they, they are good things that God has given unto us. Let's work on them. Let's train them. Let's teach them. Let's seek God on their behalf. Let our needs always be on ground for them. I pray the grace to do so the Lord will give unto us in Jesus' name. And lastly, Half time for them. About three or four times, when I was about to round up, the Holy Spirit reminded me, says, tell them to have time for their children. Some of them, when they go back, when they go to school, they will listen to so many things from friends. And when you have time for 
They will say, ah, daddy, this is what my friend, my, this is what my friend said in school today. One was okay. Ah, mommy, daddy, on your right, it's suffering. Nile, when you're there, you. Daddy, what do you think? Is is he saying the right thing? Eh, daddy, she on koto so yen show darabi. But when you don't have time for them. Nile, go ati obani aye fumo. Ah, daddy, I want to see you. Daddy, mo feri yi. No, 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 no. Don't come and meet me. Go and meet your mother. Mother, no, 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 no. I don't have time for you. Come tomorrow. And as a result of that, they will be keeping things from you. As a parent, you might be going out and say, son, what do you think about this thing? What is your view about this thing? They will open up. Daddy, this is what my friend said though. That this thing oh, is something like this oh. It's not something like this. But as a parent, in that position, you will teach the son or the daughter the right thing to do. Let's have time for them. Let's have time for them. I wrote it here. That was the word Holy Spirit was putting in my mind frequently. He said, Tell them. Have time for your children. Interact with them. Relate with them. Create time for them. Let see their view pertain to things. Let them, let them express their feelings or their view pertain to some things. So that you'll be able to correct them. No matter how old you are, if you have the relationship before they grow up, it will continue. Please let's have time. I I saw a particular thing that happened to a particular lady. The parent the, the parent they don't have time. They ask her to go and stay in her friend's place. And mistakenly the husband of the friends slept with her. She was not happy. He was looking for who to confide on. She called the mother. Mother said, No, I'm tired. I don't have time for you. Mommy, I want to talk to you. No, don't go. Just give me two minutes of your time. No, I'm tired. I'm just coming from work. But as a result of that, this lady become a prostitute. Oh my baby! Oh what the ento she share she wo? She thought is a mother she can confront on that this what happened. Oh no! You know what I mean? If you are on the ento let you up on so that is ento she left for because the mother did not give her time. She want to be a yare kora ye fun. They have many things burdening their mind. And they, they are looking for someone that will teach them the right way to go because there are pressures everywhere when they go out. There are pressures when they go out. But parents, make yourself available. Don't let them see you as wicked someone that they can't relate to their issue with. I pray the grace to do to train the way the Lord want our children to be the Lord we give unto us in Jesus name when you train them early they will discover what God has for them early but when they start hearing the Lord they will ask God what do you have for me on this earth and God will be able to tell them and God will be able to reveal to the parents this is my purpose for him this is my purpose for her and they also will hear from the Lord and they will continue to stick with him a man of God said so when you get to a graveyard is a place where we see many many potentials. 
je ibi ti eyan ade ti yan ati ri opolopo awon ebun awon ohun mere mere awon ohun ini god he died without being fulfilled won ku pelu gbogbo awon kon won yi laisi amuse re i pray none of our children Let's be on our feet. I want you to ask God. God. From what I've heard today. The grace. Or your fair. To. Lati. Take my role and responsibility as a parent. In fulfillment of my children's destiny, that the Lord should give unto you. And as many also that are trusting God for fruit of the womb, use this platform also and cry unto the Lord. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Let's pray very well. Let's commit ourselves to the hand of God. As a parent, the message is a challenge to every one of us as a parent. In which we need to work on it. Very, very important. We don't want to be condemned on the last day concerning the training of our children. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Let's pray very well. Commit yourself to the hand of God. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Pray In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's be seated. Take your Bible with me and go back to the, uh, to the theme of today's uh, uh, Thanksgiving anniversary for our children. Baby, baby, let me make you a jolly new apple. Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah And we read from verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordain you a prophet to the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth. 
<laughs> For you shall go to all <laughs> to whom I send you. And whatever I command you, <laughs> ye shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Yes, ma'am. Not yet, I can't. Nigga, no, 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 Oluwa Olorun sawo emi ko emi ko mo oro iso nitori omode ni emi sugbon Oluwa wi fun pe ma wi pe omode ni emi sugbon iwo o lo sojo enikeni temi o ran o si ati ohun ko hun temi o pase fun oni iwo o so ma beru ni waju won nitori emi wa pelu re lati gba o ni Oluwa wi amen amen that passage is a familiar passage to majority of us as parents. I believe so. Isn't it? I can't hear you. Is it only the book of Psalm we are reading? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Olu agogun ti awon. Na God should wage war against those that wage war against us. Irashe Olorun yen. That minister, that man of God. I want to saw it really to won. He said his own experience. Nigba ton wa yin fasti. When he was in the university, when the calico now only read it, I beg you. Everybody has his his or her own experience. And I believe we gain one or two things from his own experience. Most of the time, when people are saying, "I know I read in Coco Cone, no, I read it in one." Isn't it? I mean, only read it there. I too, I have my own little experience. To the point that I want to get carried, I only read of a tear one more one. Because when we are very little, we don't have this grace that our children have today. Most of the time. I'm already a grown up before I knew Christ. And I know how much I suffer for this. Even up, even up, even up for the grace of God. I could have become a herbalist. Honestly. Without my intention. Without my intention at all. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I Yes. In my experience in faith. Most especially in the ministry. I knew that. That passage. Is for every. Children. Both believers and unbelievers. I like There is no child that is sent to this world that just came just like that. Despite the Dagbatan, even though I was grown up, I want to borrow my gun to fire. We can't talk Jesus. Don't fire. We don't be more. My juniors are already married before I knew Christ. After the Lord called me, open the OBT. Also, to 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 I mean, that passage of the scripture is among those passages of scripture that uh, the Lord referred me to. Say, my son, despite that. You never know me when you are young, but before you are born, I ordain you as my prophet. Yes. Would that would not be a mystery to you or surprise you? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. I can't hear you. Yes. 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 Yes.
when God has decided to lay hands on me, he will just send me to somebody. Somebody, probably he, hasn't, he or she hasn't got an issue at all. I just tell me that. This sister, oh, no, you. you will be pregnant. Oh, si, oh, si you are going to have a child. At times you will tell me maybe male or female. And he will tell me what that child will be. And many, and many times it has come to pass. And he will tell me also that this is the name for the child. Like the child. And he will tell me also that this is the name for the child. And he will tell me also that this is the name for the child. At times they might give birth and now tell me that they don't like such name. Only motivate so lock on to motivate so man. Okay, man. They will say I have a name in my heart that I want to name the child. I will just play. Don't be annoying. Number one. Ekeni. Oh my God, can't tell on phone. Each child that God has given to us. Only share to learn what I want to know. Aye. There is a purpose that God has sent that child for to accomplish. To buy the phone, the phone will record. And if you name that child yourself, or if God should give that child a name, God has a purpose for giving that name to that child to be Praise established in his life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you this. That is why many parents will not make heaven, whether they believe it or not, because of their carelessness in the area of training their children as the mother, as the man of God has told us. Some people, out of ignorance, immediately they gave birth. I, I want to send this child to England to, you know, for proper uh, educational training because it's my only child, and uh, I want the child to. To be enlightened. I don't want. I don't know. I do. I, I don't. I, I prefer a British education. I don't like the local education because of the, uh, edu uh, the because of the uh, falling standard of education in the country. I said, well, this thing selling him or her overseas is good, but it will affect our future like that. And to bad day, I'm a and God will make me to understand that. It will affect the destiny of the child for life, which means in control of our own way. And in over there, British education, oh, but of our own, but we go, 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 Rise your, rise your feet. The people are not going to be able to get the money. They are the 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 some, some parents they prefer sending their, their children or their words to the best school. No, I mean, forget about this, the fees. If I get one million naira per time, one shit, she was a boy, I come and was in Sunday school. Eh, me only time, ni as I feel it, Nigba to buy ya, I'm a big belly, she be big belly, concerning you, Lika. Amen. Amen. There are some people that they, they prefer to send their children to schools where they can pay one million per time for that child. But when you tell that person that hey, just come on, let, the, let this child come to Sunday school classes, they will tell you that later I don't have time to be bringing those such a child. Later you will read the Bible and we understand it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The best legacy you can give your child is train him or her the way of the Lord. Oh, to she ye bi eju lo to le fi si le fun omo re tabi ko fi fun omo na ni wi pe ki o to omo na ni ilana Olorun. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am telling you the truth. Mo so ti so fun o. Omo to ba ti ko ni beru Oluwa lati kekere. The child you train in the fear of the Lord right from the youth. 
he or she will become unstoppable anywhere, anytime. There is no place that God will not take that child to. Even if the parents don't have any cobble. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. Our child they will not become wayward. You know what the Lord told me at this same time? Only since all the children will fail to train <laughs> that the devil is, way, is already there to train them so which means, means that you, must be, you cannot sit on the fence that is your child cannot be neutral latiko Listen, cut. I want my second school. Till we cut. I want my second school. I'm saying what I know. I want my second school. Till we cut. To check with, especially, and to one body house. To check one lobby. Other student. Give me this. You don't give me. I just make one more minute. But she make pass on me. To look in it. I mean, put it to one more. One more. One more. Ah, me lo me lo. Come on, just stop with touch your institutions. Eh? I want my second school. I want something. I want something more. What more? Egbe. Secondary school already in a cult. One of our, one of our Junior, children of free school. Secondary school. Near Ilewe Grammar. What did you come? Came back one day. Only our teacher is telling us. Uh, one of our teacher, Yoruba teacher, only 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 is telling them that uh, this Bible we are calling about is a story book. Only one best. He analyzed of it. Just only this story book. Only one source. Sample and sample. Only 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 all of them to own. So yes, the Bible only about the cake we bought them. I will pay. I want to show you about it. I will pay. I want to more. No, I will pay. Can't you come on? You give me your back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Olo ne, olo wa song. Can't you? Olo so pay. Only a long con. So yes, we belly. Only about the cake we buy. Allah, they will let us get it. So we pay. Oman wa. So we pay belly. So no, no, you belly. Ani, oh, I deli only. Ah, this is what our teacher is saying. Is it true? I want to pay. Kori be o, elemi o kukuni o. Emma, they know o. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And one month you won't let go. Be belly, kilo machele. One pick interest. One year so much change, kilo machele. I want come one year come in. Why can't they lay? To repay three months. What behind the one year come one year? I call the one year best. Miss Hefu year. Titi. Ah, no look at Jesus. I want one hundred akuda. Amen. Bolo ma ya hundred akuda. Amen. We want to commit our uh, uh, our self to the hand of God. Afe fiara wali Allah rulo wo. It's an assignment God has given to every one of us. If you fail to carry it out, what happens? God, God, will, God will condemn you. The number of child they gave you, maybe it's one, or two, or three, or twelve. So, so more than that, God will require from you. Oh Lord, you be the Lord. It's a land you. It's a great task. Let's commit ourselves to the hand of God. I don't want to be condemned. When me offend any, don't let me. You cannot give what you don't have. Let me be in a shalom. Yes, sir. You can't give. Eh, you give. 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 You Lord, I don't want to be guilty. I don't want to be condemned over my child. Lord, I don't want to be condemned over the children you have given me. Help me to train them in your way. The Bible says, train the child the way that you will go when he grow up, not depart from me. We need to train them. They need our, they need our, uh, our support, our love. Rakurika Sirika Sidaba Sidaba. 
Let's commit ourselves to the hand of God. Let's pray. Let's pray. Ah. Some people are dosing. Why? And what concern? Ah. Let's be serious. I believe in mercy of God. Let's be serious over this issue. It's an important issue. It's an important issue. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our time is fast, friends. But we want to commit this children to the hand of God. Let's commit that to the hand of God. Let's, Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. That, that all these children shall fulfill their divine destiny, whether they even like it or not. All these children, they have a destiny to be fulfilled. And they are bound to fulfill their, their divine destiny. Uh-huh. When the opportunity comes, we still take time to pray for them. But today, our time is fast spent. And we want to seize this opportunity as well to pray for the teachers. I really appreciate their effort. I fell look at Coco, you know, Latin Badura Fan Wolu, Kongo, Toripe, Momoriri, Ekpa, what you want, sir? Abi, 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 I really that God in his mercy should uphold them to the end and as well reward them a thousand four here on earth and life to come eternity praise the Lord Hallelujah. Discover that ah. they did the work wholeheartedly. She did not agree with me. I know that they did it wholeheartedly. And the Lord will reward them. Go back to the Lord. Now, let it trade me. I put me on the back. We want lie, lie. All the people that God used to train me, I can never forget them. Go down below. You pray. I want to look for one. I want to look back. 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 And uh, we have a, we lack space, sufficient space. And, and I know that God will enlarge our coast. Amen. I say, God will enlarge our coast in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to recite and I want to collect to want to display uh, uh, their the knowledge of the scripture. In fact, Ah, uh, I'm so I'm so so excited. <laughs> when the children we are reading the memory verse and even exhibiting the gift of God in their life, and oh, Jai wouldn't laugh for me. And, and I'm uh, inspired, highly inspired. Oh, Jai wouldn't laugh for me. Don't look at Jesus. I want to look at one. Mule ni chela san. Amen. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. Oh, 
Please let us pray for all our teachers, the children, teachers. Oh, what a city can say about Korka Shidaba. Rakuri can say it goes over Sidaba. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. Rakuri can say it goes over Sidaba. Let's pray for them. 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 Let's pray for Hey, Jesus, then we pray. Amen. Then we also pray for the workers generally. The workers in this assembly, God is reducing them greatly. Look at the other time when the Nepal was off. Immediately I began to chastise them. The people are sweating. What is covered with pray? Discover that it's not their fault. It is a battery that is supposed to work that failed. Uh -huh. So, I really appreciate it. 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 So many things happen in the and therefore, let's commit all this work to the hand of God that God in His mercy should hold them to the end and uh, 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 their, their labor they will not be in vain. Let's pray. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. Yeah, can't say more for Lord. And commit them to the hand of God. Yes, if you want your Lord, you know what? Oh, look at Siri, look at Siri, look at Sokobo, see that? Rakuri, look at Siri, look at Sokobo. Rakuri, look at Siri, look at Sokobo. Here we go, see that? Hey, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, sir. We are grateful. Oh Lord, we are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord, for all you have done for us. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful. Jesus Christ. We thank you once again this morning. We are grateful unto you for this day that you have appointed, especially for our children in this church and in the nation as a O, which is coming up on Tuesday. Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. You are the one that gave us these children and you are the one that is bringing them up in the nurture of yourself. Father, we bless your name today. Accept our praises in Jesus' name. Father, as parents, we are committing ourselves into your hand today. We have heard it in the sermon. You have committed these children into our care. They are not ours. 
We are just caretakers. Lord, therefore, the resources we need spiritually, physically, materially, financially, Lord, to bring these children up in your own way. Give and